Hello Reading community, we hope that you had a great week. In this week's video, we'll share two updates and also three student shout outs. Start with updates. Our first update is around the RPS Distinguished Teacher Award. So this year we have a new award to recognize and celebrate and honor uh, some of our best RPS teachers. So this award is meant to go to educators and teachers who go uh, above and beyond for our students and who best embody what it means to be an RPS teacher. Uh, you'll see here on the screen a link to the form. We're asking any member of our RPS community, so students, staff, family members, uh, community members to nominate a teacher for this award by June 1st, 2022, and by completing this nomination form. Award recipients will be recognized at the school committee meeting on June 9th. Uh, in addition, winners of the Distinguished Teacher Award will receive a one-time stipend of $500 from the Dorothy and Arnold Burger Trust Fund, which was set up to recognize and reward individual Reading Public School teachers for exemplary teaching. So uh, thank you in advance for taking a minute to recognize some of the amazing teachers that we have across RPS. Second update around COVID-19, uh, our community encourages all individuals to stay up to speed with vaccinations. Uh, we do offer a vaccination, upcoming vaccination clinic at the Coolidge Middle School. Uh, this will be held on June 3rd from 2 to 4 p.m. There's a link in the newsletter to sign up. Uh, we also uh, have vaccines available for now or boosters available for children ages 5 to 11. Shifting into some student uh, specific shout outs. First shout out goes to students at the Killam Recycled Carnival. You'll see here some photos of the Killam Recycled Carnival where students developed creative games using recycled materials. Uh, and these photos highlight first graders playing the carnival games that our fourth graders created. So great job to our Killam students in showcasing both innovation and creativity. Our second shout out goes to Ali Askar Bagat a sixth grader at the Coolidge Middle School who recently won the top honors in the Letters About Literature contest. As a bit of context on this award, Letters About Literature in Massachusetts is a statewide personal and reflective writing initiative sponsored by the Massachusetts Center for the Book. The program invites students in grades 4 through 12 to read a book of their choice, reflect on it, and write a personal letter to the author explaining the impact that this work had on them. Uh, whatever the students choose to write about, they are encouraged to dive deep into their own thoughts sticking with a central point and following it as far as they can to an original statement about why this book matters to them uh, and to the world in which they live. Uh, Ali Oscar wrote about, to Dr. Seuss about, oh, the places you'll go and how that book has inspired him. His letter placed him in the top five in the state for level one, which is grades four, five, and six, and is the highest rank ever by a Coolidge student. So what a tremendous honor for Ali Oscar. Congratulations. And lastly, we'd like to recognize two seniors in our RMHS class, uh, we know that this season has been filled with honors and recognitions for our seniors. Uh, two seniors recently were awarded by the Merrimack Valley Superintendents Association. Uh, each year, member associations, that's 30 districts in this area, are asked to select two students who represent and embody academic excellence. So this past week at the MSVA ceremony, uh, we were represented and had the chance to honor uh, Weston Lewin and Samantha Brabeck for their tremendous academic accomplishments this past year. You'll see here on screen and also in the written text some of the things that Samantha and Wesson have done to contribute uh, to the RMHS community. So a huge honor and recognition and uh, congratulations to both Weston and Samantha. We hope that you all have a great weekend and we ask that all of our students take a moment to pause and reflect on the impact and the legacy of all those who died serving our country. So happy Memorial Day to our Reading community. We hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.